ஹலோ எவ்ரிவன் ஐ ஆம் பாலாஜி ராவ் வெல்கம் டு பிஆர் மேத்ஸ் கிளாஸ் இன் திஸ் கிளாஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டூ ப்ராக்டிஸ் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் அண்ட் ரிலேஷன்ஸ் யூ ஆல்ரெடி லேர்ன் டெஃபினேஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ரிஃப்ளெக்ஸிவ் ரிலேஷன் சிமெட்ரிக் ரிலேஷன் ட்ரான்ஸ்டிவ் ரிலேஷன் ஹவு டு செக் கிவன் ரிலேஷன் இஸ் ரிஃப்ளெக்ஸிவ் ரிலேஷன் ஆர் நாட் ஹவு டு செக் கிவன் ரிலேஷன் இஸ் சிமெட்ரிக் ரிலேஷன் ஆர் நாட் how to check given relation is trans to relation or not you know these things okay so we'll take some problems which are uh, uh, given in previous year je papers uh, we'll take those questions and we'll solve those problems okay you see this question what they given they given set a a is 3 6 9 12 and the relation is given like this they given one relation okay they are asking what this relation is this is a reflexive and transitive only okay this is a reflexive only this is equivalence relation this is a reflexive and symmetric only which option is correct okay first we will check a reflexive part if you take 3 in set a order pair 3 comma 3 is there okay if we take 6 in set a order pair 6 comma 6 is there if you take 9 in set a order pair 9 comma 9 is there if you take 12 in set a order pair 12 comma 12 is there that means for every a belongs to set a implies order pair a comma a belongs to the relation so this relation is reflexive or not yes this relation is reflexive i written here this relation is reflexive relation so now i'll check symmetric also this relation is symmetric or not you observe this 3 comma 3 six comma six nine comma nine twelve comma twelve this type of elements always pass symmetric test and this type of elements always pass transitive test also so for these elements no need to check symmetric test see symmetric yes that means for six comma six uh, reverse order is also six comma six this pass the symmetric test this also pass the symmetric test this also pass the symmetric test now come to this here order pair 6 comma 12 is there for order pair 6 comma 12 12 comma 6 is there in the relation you check 12 comma 6 is there in the relation no 12 comma 6 does not belongs to the relation when it comes to symmetric it is no it's not symmetric i hope you are understanding so this relation is reflexive but not symmetric you observe here we can strike off this equivalence relation you observe here this cannot be equivalence relation because it is not symmetric relation okay and uh, we can strike off this fourth option also reflexive and symmetric only this is not symmetric so now two options are there so we must check transitivity right okay how to check the transitivity you in general you observe for a comma b b comma c a comma c doesn't exist or not see these elements always satisfies transitive condition no need to check transitive condition for these elements okay you just check see this you take this order pair ends with 12 you look any other order pair starts with 12 no no other order pair starts with 12 so in that case we say that this element pass the transitive test okay if any other element starts with 12 suppose this is 6 comma 12 any other element is there something like 12 comma 3 then we look for 6 comma 3 is there in the relation or not if i take 6 comma 12 this ends with 12 is there any other order pair starts with 12 no in that case we say that this element passes the transitive test this element pass the transitive test okay now come to this 3 comma 9 this ends with 9 is there any other order pair starts with 9 no other order pair starts with 9 in that case we say that 3 comma 9 this element pass the transitive test okay right now this ends with 3 comma 12 this ends with 3 comma 12 any other order pair is there which starts with 12 actually this is there but uh, uh, this type of things suppose you take 3 comma 12 12 comma 12 what is a comma c a comma c is 3 comma 12 that is there here only that's why we are not checking this elements always satisfies transitive condition no need to check okay now this ends with 12 any other starts with 12 you just observe here only any other starts with 12 no so this element also passes the transitive test okay come to this last one 
3 comma 6. This ends with the 6. Any other order pair is there which starts with the 6? Yes, here it is 6 comma 12. Look here, this ends with the 6, this starts with the 6. So, we found that 3 comma 6, 6 comma 12 in the relation. What is A comma C? A comma C is 3 comma 12. You look that 3 comma 12 is there in this relation. Yes, you observe here. 3 comma 12 is there in this relation. So, this relation transitive or not? This relation is transitive or not? Yes, this relation is transitive. So, this relation is reflexive and transitive. So, which option is right option? You look here. First option is the right option. This relation is reflexive and transitive only. I hope you understand this solution. You observe this question. This is given in J Main 2023. Usually, this much easy questions. This is very easy actually. This type of easy questions, usually we won't get. A particular batch may get this question. Um, lucky batch. We can say that that batch is a lucky batch. Very easy question they got. See what they given? They given set A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All 7 elements are there. They given like this R equal to order pair X comma Y and X belongs to X. This order pair belongs to A cross A. That means this itself indicates that R is a relation on A. Okay. And this order pair satisfying this equation X plus Y equal to 7. Now you need to check this is a equivalence relation or a you see, the second option is symmetric, not reflexive, not transitive. Third option, it is transitive, neither symmetric nor reflexive. Reflexive, neither symmetric nor transitive. Okay. Here, as A is a finite set and this relation we can easily write in a roster method. We can list this relation very easily. So, I will list this relation, right? I will write this relation in roster method. Okay. R equal to. You see here. X comma Y belongs to A cross A. Na? So, X is belongs to set A. Y is also from set A. What I will do? I will take X is 1. Okay. You take X is 1. What is Y from this? I will write here. What is Y from this? Y is 7 minus X. Okay. So, you take X is 1. You put X is 1 here. 7 minus 1 is 6. So, what is the order pair? The order pair 1 comma 6 belongs to this relation. I hope you are understanding. You see, 1 is there in set A and this when I substitute in this, it satisfies 1 plus 6 is 7. Okay. Now, you take x is 2. You take x is 2. Substitute x equal to 2. 7 minus 2, 5. 5 also must be in set A, right? 5 is there. Okay. 2 comma 5. Okay. You take x is 3. Put x equal to 3 in this. 7 minus 3 is 4. Okay. You put x equal to 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. 4 comma 3. If you put x equal to 5, 7 minus 5 is 2. If you put x equal to 6, y is 1. So, 6 comma 1. You put x equal to 7. When you put x equal to 7, y is 0. As they given x comma y belongs to a cross a as 0 is not in set a. So, we cannot take that. So, what happened here? I written given relation in roster method. Now, checking this relation reflexive symmetric transitive is very easy. I will check a reflexive. Okay. Whether it is reflexive or not. 1 is there. 1 comma 1 is there in this relation? No. So, this relation is not reflexive. Best method is try to eliminate the options, right? Here they are saying it is reflexive. That means fourth option is not correct, okay? And first option they are saying equivalence relation. It cannot be equivalence because it is not reflexive, okay? Now I will check symmetric. How to check symmetric? You take a comma b, b comma a is there in this or not? For 1 comma 6, 6 comma 1 is there? Yes, it is there. For 2 comma 5, 5 comma 2 is there? Yes, 5 comma 2 is there. For 3 comma 4, 4 comma 3 is there? Yes, here it is. For 4 comma 3, 3 comma 4 is there. For 5 comma 2, 2 comma 5 is there. 
for 6 comma 1 1 comma 6 is there so clearly this relation is symmetric it is symmetric now you can eliminate some options you see they given it is not symmetric actually it is symmetric right so we can strike off this now you see without checking transitivity we are easily can say only one option is remaining right so this relation is symmetric not reflexive not transitive just check transitivity you observe here this is 1 comma 6 this is 6 comma 1 1 comma 6 6 comma 1 exist in the relation what is a comma c here a comma c is 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 is there in the given relation no 1 comma 1 does not belong to this relation so this relation is transitive no so what is the right option this relation is symmetric only but neither reflexive nor transitive so second option is the right option i hope you are understanding these things You observe this question, this is given in J main 2024. Easy only, but a bit tricky one. Let's see. First, observe the question. They given one set. S is 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. 10 elements are there in this. M is what? Set of all subsets of S. That means M contains what? Something like this. M contains like 1, 2, 1 comma 2 1 2 3 all subsets of this set s okay r equal to order pair a comma b they mention that a comma b from this set m and the relation between a and b is a intersection b is not a empty set okay right now you need to check what type of relation it is reflexive oh, sorry symmetric and reflexive only symmetric only symmetric and transitive only reflexive only which option is right option okay first we will check reflexive usually what we check uh, uh, for any a will uh, one point here as they mention r like this order pair a comma b a comma b belongs to m this r is a relation on which set it indicates that r is a relation on m not s sir okay so this a also belongs to m b is also belongs to m that's why r is a relation on relation on m now i need to check uh, uh, reflexive what way i'll check for every a belongs to m implies for every a belongs to m implies order pair a comma a belongs to the relation or not this i need to check here you take uh, any one set a from m usually a intersection a is what a intersection a is a generally generally a intersection a is a a union a is a we know these things but in a particular case suppose i will take a is empty set because empty set is there set of all subsets of s empty set is a subset of s if i take a as empty set what is a intersection a a intersection A is empty set. I hope you are understanding. In this case, when I take A is empty set, in this case, order pair A comma A does not belong to the relation. See, if we give one example, which is not satisfying the given condition, we can say that it is not reflexive. Here, I can give so many examples such that uh, if A is not empty set, a is non-empty set. A is other than this set. You take A as any set. That order pair belongs to this relation. You take A is equal to something like this 1 comma 2. A intersection A is what? A intersection A is 1 comma 2. I hope you are understanding. I think little bit more explanation is given. It's enough. It can be understood that this relation is not reflexive. You better avoid the options. Which options we can delete? They given that it is reflexive only. No, it is not reflexive. They given here it is a symmetric and a reflexive only. We can eliminate. Eliminating the options will give you some clarity. Unnecessary confusion we can avoid. Right. So better you eliminate the options. Now I will check symmetric condition. What is symmetric condition? If you take one relation A comma B. If you take one order pair A comma B in the relation. Then you need to look that B comma A also belongs that relation or not. Okay. 
So what I will do here, if A comma B belongs to R means what do you know? You know that A intersection B is not a null set. That is the point now. If order pair A comma B, A comma B belongs to R means A intersection B is not a null set. If A intersection B is not a null set, 100% B intersection A also not a null set. This is very clear. 100% B intersection A is also not a null set. Then what I can say? I can say that the order pair B comma A belongs to R. Right? So this relation is symmetric or not? Yes, this relation is symmetric. Reflexive or not? Sorry. Reflexive, it is not reflexive. Symmetric, yes, it is symmetric. Now you look, can we decide which option? You look here, they given symmetric only. They given symmetric and trans2 only. So you need to check trans2 also. You don't have any other alternate. Okay. How to check trans2 condition? You take one example like this. I'll take a, a as 1 comma 2, b as a 2 comma 3, and c as a 3 comma 4. I'll take one example like this. You can observe that these elements must be there in set M, right? Yes, okay. Now you take A comma B belongs to R or not? A comma B. When A comma B belongs to R, if A intersection B is not an empty set, calculate A intersection B. 2 is the element common, na? A intersection B not empty. This is clear, okay? A comma B belongs to R and you look that B comma C. B comma C belongs to the relation. B comma C, when B comma C belongs to R, if when I calculate B intersection C, you must get non-empty. B intersection C, see a 3A is the common element. So, B intersection C is non-empty. So, I identified A comma B, B comma C in the relation. Now, you look that A comma C is there in the relation or not. Now, you look that A comma C, A comma C, when this belongs to the relation, when I calculate A intersection C, I must get null, not a null set, A intersection C, calculate A intersection C, there is no element in common. So, when I do this, you are getting, it is a null set. So, what I can say, I can say that A comma C does not belongs to the relation. So, here A comma B belongs to R, B comma C belongs to R, but A comma C does not belongs to R. From this, we can say that this relation is not transitive. So, this relation is uh, not reflexive, symmetric, not trans2. So, which option? Symmetric only, right? This is the right option, right? Second option is the right option. I hope you understand.